So the important thing on the eyes is to make sure you get three levels of depth going here. So you have the bottom eyelid right here. That's your shallowest cut. That, make sure that it goes deeper into the corner here and make sure that it's tucked under the upper eyelid. And then the bag of the eye in this case is the second deepest, right? And you want it really deepest right in here on the bottom. And if you see on this one, I want to actually kind of uh, take that out right there so that it goes in gradually. Try to make this as smooth as you can. Right here, a little bigger here, deep here, and the bag sticking out more here. Okay, and then the eyeball or the eye area here, which right in this case is just a deep hole, that should be the deepest thing. And the deeper, the better, because that's uh, going to be a dark spot when you finish it, and it'll look like the eyes there. Okay, on this one, what I did was I made it a little more like a round shape here. So I did a slit across here, and then I actually deepened it in this part a little more. So it really looks more like that part of the eye is open more. Okay, so... And again, this, this is pretty deep in here. I have this eye uh, sack hanging right on top of this sort of ridge here. That this is your laugh line here. Now this has to be this has to be trimmed down a little bit, you know, so that it's it's smoothed into there. Also, so this whole thing should should be rounded so it looks like flesh curving and not just like a, another part of the mustache. Okay, so that's important. And also when you paint it, you'll you'll define that. But if you were doing this unfinished. Uh, just with a natural finish and it was just the wood, you'd have to make sure that you define that this is the mustache, this is part of the skin, this is part of the skin. So this has to kind of round out into here. This should be, uh, if I can do it, just kind of round it in here a little bit more. And this is where this little tiny detail knife comes in. You have a lot of control and you're just taking tiny, tiny, tiny slices before, because, you know, every little mark you make in a face uh, tells our brain that, you know, that's part of the expression. So you have to be really careful that you don't uh, put uh, too deep a gouge in a place where it shouldn't go, where it wouldn't be on the face. So, okay, so I want this cheek to kind of roll into this and, you know, all look like it's, you can still have a crease there, okay, but then when it comes out of the crease, it needs to be a natural thing. Also, very important to remember to, to carve these temple areas out in here. Okay, that's where the, the head kind of goes back in. Okay, so always remember sure to leave that in there so that part of the head isn't too fat because our head kind of dips in there. Okay, that's important. And don't be afraid to, to make deep cuts, very deep cuts, because that creates a black shadow line. See, that already looks better there now that I did that. Okay, and then I just want to you know, we don't usually have a weird bump right there, so we want to round, round it. Just, it's really just look at it. Does that look like a face? No. Okay. So then take a little more off. You know. So, and I'm doing a lot. You could do this with a V tool, but I like to do it with little slices, uh, little stop cuts, and it's actually good practice for you here. Okay. And just pay attention to your grain. And that's it. Okay. So I'll just keep doing that. This is the hair. I'll put a little more shaping, a little more defining of this. Okay, and then I just go in, once I've uh, made my general cuts for the beard, then I'll do deep, deep Vs, and more and more of them, and vary them. See how there's, this one is one depth, this is another, this is even more deep, and this is really deep here, almost going through. So all those make it, give you a, a front-to-back dimension. you got to remember in your carvings, you have two dimensions this way, but you really want to get that third one. And look at the nose, look how much, how... Uh, prominent that is okay so if you go back to this blank you see that you're gonna have to take a lot off of this and a lot off this brow here okay quite a bit more than you think probably okay to uh, look at people look at look at pictures when you're watching a movie a lot of times uh, it's great to, to look at movies because actors are, ten are usually um, stars because they have something very distinctive about them. They have prominent features and uh, especially character actors who tend to have big noses and big deep eyes and things like that and those are really good for carving because this is really a caricature. So this, I used to have a hard time with this idea here of making this. It's like, well how can I have, you know, this bulging eye by when I'm cutting this deep hole in here? Well, you're going to go deeper and deeper still. This is going to be the highest part of that. But look at a real person's eye. 
the top of their eyelid in this plane is pretty far back from this nose, bridge of this nose, okay? Different in women and different in children, but in older men, and especially craggy old guys like this, that goes down pretty far in there. Okay, so keep that in mind and give this one a try. This is a lot of fun. Uh, it's really about the way this beard is done for me and this huge mustache, which is really extreme, and the saggy eyes. All that's really a lot of fun. I'll see you later.